Good morning. Here uh, I have come with the topic CR space distribution. Okay. In my last video, uh, I think uh, you have already watched that video. Drop of pressure heat for a given length. That topic was discussed. Okay. And the problem was what? Flow between two parallel plates where both the plates are held fixed. Okay. Of course, the flow was taken to be viscous in nature. Okay. And of course, laminar flow. That concept was used. And also, uh, Newton's law of viscosity was used to calculate shear forces. Okay. So here, uh, in this video, I am going to discuss the second point that is shear space distribution. Uh, you have seen that for the flow, well, let me draw this change first. These are the two parallel plates. Okay. These are the two parallel plates. This direction, the horizontal direction is x. Now, vertical direction is of y. The distance of separation between the plates that is denoted by t. Okay. P is what? That is pressure. X is this direction. Y is this direction. P is this t. Okay. Same. So, this was the problem. Now, here we are uh, going. Uh, actually, I have shown in my previous videos, one of my previous videos, I have shown you that uh, shear stress distribution that was shown. So, we are taking this cross section. Okay. And here. On this cross section, we are going to draw the shear space distribution. So, uh, what we need to do first, we take the Newton's law of viscosity. According to Newton's law of viscosity tau, that is the shear space, that is equal to mu, that is coefficient of dynamic viscosity, is equal to uh, mu into del p del x. Okay. So, this was what? Newton's law of viscosity. No, P was not there. Sorry, P was not there. Instead, there will be what? U will be there. Not P. U will be there. Not P. It is velocity, not pressure. Okay. So tau is equal to mu del u del x. U is this much. So what you need to do? Just differentiate this. Del u del x. Then put this bracket minus 1 by 2 mu, this one, del p del x. Sorry, once again I have committed one mistake. This is not x, this should be y. Okay, again I need to erase this one and uh, write here y. Okay, y. Uh, there is problem. Okay. Uh, let me use a dry cloth. Otherwise, this cannot be written here. Okay. This is dry. So, by using this, I am writing this is Y. This is also Y. Okay. Sorry for the mistake committed by me. Okay. So, uh, let's start from the very beginning. Shear space is equal to mu del u del y. Then mu del del y of u. U is this much. So you write the expression for u here. Minus 1 by 2 mu del p del x. Then this ty minus y square is there. Okay. Ty minus y square is there. This mu, this del p del x, these are constants, this is partial derivative. So, what will be the result? This mu and this mu are cancelled. So, minus half del p del x, del p del x, and here you will get only t, and here you will get minus 2y. So, this is what? This is tau. That is your stress. So, this is the, uh, this is what? Uh, this is the CR space distribution. Here, this del p del x and t are constants. So, you can see that this is an equation of a straight line. 
tau that is linearly with y. Okay. So if you draw the velocity distribution, uh, sorry, the space distribution, say this is the midpoint, so it will be almost like this. Okay. These are should be at the same, right? And uh, this is actually straight line, okay? Not a curved one. So this will be the CR space distribution. You can see that at the midpoint CR space is zero, and at the surface of the walls CR space is maximum. What is the maximum value of CR space? Just by putting y is equal to zero or y is equal to two t, you will get the maximum value of CR space. So we can write that tau max. Okay, tau max. This is equal to what? Minus half minus half del p del x. This is half. Okay, minus half del p del x into what t right so if you put y is equal to 0 you will get this result if you put y is equal to t then in, the, in that case you will get positive result with a positive sign instead of this negative sign you will get the result with a positive sign but the magnitude of the shear space remains same okay and this is uh, that is this much so what is tau max this value the length of this straight line okay from here to here okay so the, uh, in a uh, few books you will see that this is denoted by tau suffix zero tau suffix zero is used for maximum shear space which occurs at the uh, surface of the walls okay means surface of the flat plates so that is the maximum shear space and this is the distribution of the shear space okay across a cross section and this is the expression for shear space at any point. If y is known or y is given in the numerical problem, then by using this formula, you can easily calculate shear space at a given point. Of course, the uh, pressure gradient will be mentioned in the given problem. By using that value, you can easily calculate shear space. Okay. So, this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a beautiful day to all of you.